First of all, parade and door decorating wrap up. Door decorating, I wanted to ask Ashley about acknowledging the winner, so we'll have to do that separately. The parade, all I want to say is well done. That blew everyone away. The expectations far exceeded. Okay, we're almost I'm going to close the meeting because nobody's here. Okay, fine. <laughs> Adelia, are you getting Keith? Yes. I should have yeah. muted myself. I'm sorry. John, good job on that parade. It was really well done. Well, thank you. John, John and the whole fire department. And the fire department. I made, I made it crystal clear in my report to the um, select board for the, the 250th. It's like, it's, I can't do it myself. I did a lot of the coordinating, but I can't be in too many places at once. Yeah, right. well, you wrangled the troops. And they were fantastic. Everyone that I talked to was really impressed. In fact, I just over the weekend got an updated video from FCAT, which I will send out to everyone on the committee. Is that the one that's monitored from, um, I saw it on Facebook this morning. Okay, okay, probably, yeah. I mean, Ashley and I both would have gotten it. I haven't even had time to watch it yet. Oh. But you know, that's why I was asking you the length of the route that he was going to be doing more. Yep commentary on it so I'll, i will send that around but fabulous fabulous job people um, came people came out of the woodwork and i gotta tell you that i probably turned away more than we had in a parade really Got wow it. because we, is... we, we only we wanted to limit it to weightly people yeah okay um, and, I, I... and I, got, I got scolded today because uh or was it yeah maybe it was today or maybe i think it was today because I didn't have a uh, Jimmy Balloonist didn't get invited from Sunderland. I said, <laughs> <laughs> "Sorry, Jimmy." But he's Sunderland. Well, he worked in this town for thirty years, so oh, okay. if he wanted to come, he would have come. Okay. Um, this falls into the category of twenty twenty two events, and we probably shouldn't vote on much tonight because I don't, as I said, I don't think we even have a quorum. But speaking personally. Before the parade, I was skeptical about whether we should plan another parade for next year. That would there be interest? When I saw not only the number of participants, but Fred and I were driving through town during the parade, not obviously not where the parade was, and seeing people lined up in beach chairs in front of their houses I think you know, they're waiting for this again next year and next year's would be different. Um, that combined with, as Fred was just reporting, we're asking the town for another, we got approval to put into the warrant, another 20,000 from the town. Uh, I think that's a conversation that we absolutely can have, but we can't vote tonight. Um, uh, I would also say that coming off of this parade it is highly unlikely the additional 20,000 will be rejected at town meeting. Yeah, yeah, there was, that's a good point. There was such support. And Fred, you're following up with participants? I'm following up with sort of one by one with participants where they have an identifiable float or car or something. Like corporate, a, corporate or, ones. Sending a picture of their entry with sort of with a fundraising appeal. I've done probably four or five of them so far, and we'll do a handful more with some of the businesses or, or farms. So it gives us a good opening right? to ask for money. I'm kind of disappointed that we're not going to vote tonight because we were going to advertise at the Hatfield Parade, which comes up before our next meeting. Um, Keith, do you have a sense of can we vote? Do we have enough people to vote? Um. You know, the question is, does, do we technically need to, I mean, we've, we've had the parade on our, it's nothing new in that aspect. Um, and like John has said, you know, we were talking of trying to utilize the fact of the participants in Hatfield and you just go around and you hand them out something that says save the day and it makes it a lot easier because they're already there. We don't yeah. have to go find, we don't have to go hunting them down. They're already there. Yep. Um, I, I, I still feel even we could give them a save the day type of, of a situation. 
And then if for some reason, like a month from now, it, um, if something changes in our committee, the remainder of the committee, we take a vote and, it, and they shoot it down, we've, we're not out anything other than, but at the same point in time, I really think that, as John said, we should utilize the opportunity next, next couple of weeks in Hatfield to try to hand out some information. I'm and, good with and, that. And procedurally, I'd agree with Keith, since we've been working on the assumption that we will have a parade, it would take a vote against the parade, which we don't have a quorum for. And the other thought, the other thought with that, we don't need like, to aff affirm it with a vote. Okay. The but parade we, we had a week ago. Reject it with a vote. The parade we had a week or two ago, whatever it was, yeah, cost us nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, and it's only, I mean, Shriners are in a few bands here and there, but that's, I mean, I, I know what I know what the numbers were. I put in for a budget years ago, um, <laughs> but it doesn't need to be that. Right. That's what, that's what I'm thinking. I say go for it. I mean, I guess we have to do the roll call of do we go for it, of pass it around, you know, pass around flyers. No, I would say you don't even need to do that. It's assumed okay. we will have it unless someone raises a motion <clears throat> not to. Okay. And, I assume and, and again, we can hand things out to somebody like, for instance, um, the mummers are going to be in Hatfield. So if if we ha handed out something to the mummers or got their information, it doesn't mean that at the moment that they're that they're going to come to Whaley. It's just we can give them the information or get the information from them, and that has a contact point that we can follow up in in, in months to come forward and going mm -hmm. forward. Fine, go for Fine. it. Do it. Good. Okay. Anything else that you need from us regarding that? If, if we're you know, distributing something there. Okay. If, um, if you want to run something off or print something up, do it and I'll reimburse you. Yeah. Yeah, because we do, we do have, have enough there, money. There's talking some to me, money Fred? there. Fred, were you just, talking to me? I'm talking to whoever would might be doing something. Okay, thank you. John, didn't you have a sample from before that we had done a couple a year and a half ago. Um, I don't think, I think Keith, what I'll do is just use the one that I handed out to our businesses and change it a little. Okay. Clearly whatever you did work. How did you get Yankee Candle to give us a truck? Oh, they wanted to. That was impressive. <laughs> that was I, great. The one, I, the one I, that impressed me was the, the, was the float that our select board wrote on. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, that was amazing. Um, are we gonna have a float in the, Hatf in the Hatfield parade? Who's we? I'll be there. So, the town in any way. Yes. Somebody told me that it's uh, June 26th. Is that right? We were just told May 30th, May 30th? No, 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 for our parade next year, 2022. Oh, I have to look that up, hold on. I think that's it. Yeah, hold on. Give me a second. I believe the selectman's float is up in the barn at Jake's place. It's going in the Hatfield Parade as well. <clears throat> yep. Hold on. Are you thinking about it? I'm talking with my computer. That's what you're hearing. Uh, we have the parade for Sunday, June 26th. Yep. Okay. Um, next, oh, come on, computer. Next on the agenda, the gifts to the town. I don't have to report this again next month, but I met with the uh, library board and they were not only willing, they were excited to have, um, town gifts put on their property. And I presented both the idea of some sort of stone bench and the panorama that Allison's been talking about. They loved both ideas. I said that we would work with them because it's their property, particularly regarding placement. Um, but they, they were thrilled. 
I got a rough price for the bench in the ballpark of 2,000, 2,300 thereabouts. Um, Allison is estimating the panorama, including the frame and all of that will be about 1,000. So we're talking 3,500. And one thought that I have to credit Fred with was we don't want to use town money for this. We want to use resident money uh, or you know, money from people rather than the town buying itself a gift. And one thought was to earmark um, our cut of the, pro of the pottery sales to go towards this. Again, that's something we can talk about in the future. And as Fred always reminds me, money is fungible. Does it really matter which pocket it comes out of? It's our money. But I like being able to say that it was funded by donations from people or contributions from the people. Susan, excuse me. The uh, estimate for the panorama was how much? A ballpark of $1,000. These are very rough estimates at this point. OK. So the panorama is about a thousand. The stone bench is two thousand twenty-two, twenty-three hundred. And in fact, I, I was talking with a, a stone place up in Greenfield, and because of what this is for, they're willing to like donate some of the engraving, work work with us on that, which I thought was nice. And I also think it should it should come from general proceeds of the committee, I don't think it would be a good idea to have it sponsored by any individual or business, yeah. essentially in perpetuity. Right, right. This, this, this is from the people of today's Waitley to the people of tomorrow's Waitley, is the way I'd like to think of it. And Keith, I see you nodding along with that. Yes. Good. Cake, where are we on the cake? <clears throat> Um, I talked to Bobby Betzold this afternoon. Um, they are having their meeting Wednesday evening to take a formal vote to um, see if the rest of the committee will go along with the intention of donating the cake to the town of Waitley. A um, couple things, for them to retain ownership and then have to deal with um, trying to close out their books and having selling it a year later or 18 months later, then they would have to deal with how to dissolve that, you know, still have their money and they want to clean their books up and put that behind them. So that's one reason why they don't want to retain ownership. And another reason, quite frankly, is, um, you know, they, they basically struck it rich when it came to fundraising. Um, they've they've got a ton of money left over, um, and so they they are not necessarily just looking forward to to the point of giving it to Waitley, but then they also want us to, so to speak, give it give it to the next person down the line, so that it they they would prefer to see it go on and on and on, and nobody necessarily trying to make any money off from it so that's where it stands right now they're going to vote on it as of tomorrow or wednesday night so after that i'll confirm i'm trying to line things up tentatively it was the first weekend in june um john myself and wayne hikoski we looked at the location by the fire station there's room there to do it um in Hatfield, if anybody's ever gone a little bit closer to their, to where they put it, it's on a concrete pad that was originally supposed to be a gazebo built in Hatfield and never got done. Um, so in our case, we don't have a concrete pad. Um, John has contacted the, um, the railroad company and asked the, if they would provide um, railroad ties. And I'm assuming these are gonna be brand new railroad ties that they've they've agreed right john is have you heard any more on they're that used. I, I, they, they were, they were oh. used they were coming off the off the rail but i haven't heard okay. any more even, even so even so you know whether they're used will mm -hmm. that'll give it something where it sits up off the ground and not right on the ground 
and the spot is is good and level where where we are looking to put it and that will also be in a close proximity that we can get power to it um so that's where that stands um again trying to coordinate it for the first weekend in june i've already contacted um underground supply they're willing to um donate the use of their equipment the crane truck to to go to Hatfield and we'll load it up and get it onto trailers and, and bring it up to Waitley. Nice. So that's pretty much all I can tell you about it at the moment. Excellent. Is, is Hat, Hatfield is not looking to make any money. They, they were going to sell it along <clears throat> for originally, originally when this whole thing started, they had, they paid $5,000 to the city of Westfield. And they were looking to just get their money back. Um, they've now, as I said, finding themselves pretty flush with money after their celebration is over. And they are, unless something drastically changes, I feel that as of Wednesday night when they vote, they are going to vote to give it to us for no cost at all. Because another thing that I had talked to them about was if they were going to loan it to us, did we need to get insurance on it? Um, and they themselves don't have insurance on it. And, um, you know, yes, there's always a possibility that somebody could, you know, vandalize it. But um, in the location that we're putting it, um, I feel that it's as secure as any spot in town. So I'm not worried about vandalism. And we'll just... Go forward. I would say for strictly legal purposes, better for us to buy it for a dollar than take it as a gift. Just so possession is assured. And then we can sell it along for a dollar next year. But I think it's, it works better, especially between towns, to have a formal, you know, some sort of consideration for it rather than just a gift. Okay, I mean, I, I mean, I can... the, the, the amount is irrelevant. Okay, but I think they would probably be more comfortable in closing their books and not worrying about it showing up on their lawn again, belonging to them somehow. Okay, okay. We spoke with some people who live in Hatfield, and one thing that they mentioned to us was once we get it do not assume that the electrical work in it was done well. Um, that there are issues with it shorting out and light bulbs constantly burning out because we should have, we should have checked out by an electrician. And we're, I'm, I'm on top of that. Excellent, good. There's one across the street, that helps. <laughs> Anything else on the cake? Okay, for the 2022 events, anything aside from the parade that need, you know, must be addressed tonight? Nothing that I know of. Nope, okay. Uh, again, the, rec the recording and publishing of events, do we want to you know, publish a book, have some sort of digital media thing? Some, some way of 50 years from now, people can look back at what we have done. We need to address this. We do not need to address this tonight. Frankly, we need to have a plan in place for next June because the only major event was all was recorded, the parade the other day. So we have whatever we would need regardless of medium, but we need to decide what the medium will be. Other business, I don't know what to do regarding a discussion of the tag sale. I think that has to wait till June because we can't vote whether or not we want to do it. I received an inquiry with Jen Reynolds gone. I don't know if we want to take that on. Um, I just want to put it out there that we received an inquiry. Does anybody else have other business? Okay. So our next meeting is June 14th and hopefully we will have more people coming. 
I will try to remember to uh, set myself a reminder to send to send out a reminder that day because I suspect that that helps if people don't remember on their own. Okay. Jane, do you have any questions for the minutes? Yeah, but I may tomorrow. When you awesome. get well, that's fantastic. I mean, we need we need them before June fourteenth. Oh. But I just wanted to make sure you didn't need clarification on anything that was discussed. Thank you so much. Well, I hope you're going to do this. This keeps us fine. I'm oh, sorry. I bet. I have no doubt. This keeps us legit with the town. So we all very much appreciate it. Thank you. Good. Okay. I think we did okay. it in half an hour tonight, guys. Right. Keith, let us know, you know what you hear from Hatfield. Um, we will do. And if anything comes up, you all know how to find us. Yes. Take, take care, everybody. Okay. Good night. Good night. Thank you.